Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me. My name is James. I am the CTO and co-founder of a company called Rewind. Uh, founded in Ottawa, Ontario, and powered by a rather dispersed workforce worldwide, we develop backup and recovery solutions for SaaS data. Our products secure over two petabytes of information worldwide, and we like to think we've earned our reputation as the data people. I'd like to start today with a simple question. You probably back up your on-prem data, but why not back up your cloud data as well? There's an old saying that there's two types of people in this world, those who have backups and those who need them. Critical data stored in SaaS applications is often overlooked when it comes to data security. In 2019, a study from Statista revealed that over 91% of organizations back up their critical data, but only 16% back up their SaaS data. Rewind is here to help address that problem. There's a pernicious myth that in the cloud and backed up are synonymous with each other. But anyone who's lost Flickr photos, Google contacts, their inbox or an e-commerce product catalog, they'll tell you otherwise. Providers of SaaS platforms are not responsible for the individual account data. And if you take a closer look at their terms and conditions, which we all read, right? They're actually pretty explicit about this. Our first example is the little platform called GitHub. You might've heard of it. In GitHub's terms of service, they explicitly state that they take no liability for the content you create, generate, or store on their platform. And not to pick on Microsoft, but another popular service that makes it clear they are not liable for your data is MS365. Popular apps like Office, OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams, and more also assume no liability for the data you store or generate. And Atlassian has similar wording in their terms of service as well. Now, what do these services mean when they say your content and your data? Well, it's the bits and bytes that go through these services. Using Jira as an example, all of your issues, comments, workflows, and attachments are content data, also known as account data. And everyone makes it clear that you are responsible for it. Now, it's important to note that GitHub, Microsoft 365, Atlassian, and all other popular business applications, they're very secure platforms. They all have the right disaster recovery policies and processes in place to ensure that they're offering a reliable and robust service to all of their customers. But if disaster exclusively strikes you, it's on you to have a recovery solution. Finding the data related to you and your account from their system level backups would be like searching for a needle in a field of haystacks. While the specifics change depending on whether we're talking about infrastructure as a service, platforms as a service, software as a service, the onus is always on you, the user, the customer, to back up your account level data. And that's why a large majority of SaaS providers follow the shared responsibility model, which is what you see on this slide here. Simply stated, the shared responsibility says that the service is responsible for security and reliability up to a point but that you, as the customer, are responsible for security and reliability for everything beyond that. So if a meteorite struck at last in data center tomorrow, their DR plan is designed to recover the entire platform. But if the problem is more localized and affects only you and your account data, it would be quite difficult for them to help you. The harsh reality is that in order to restore and recover individual account data, you need an individual account level backup. Now, data loss comes from a variety of sources, but there's usually the same root cause in all problems. When your organization could be a victim of a phishing attack, there could be a buggy third-party application, there could be a malicious deletion, or even something accidental and unintended, but there's always, always a human involved. And let's face it, everybody makes mistakes. Trusting the wrong app, accidentally revealing sensitive information due to some phishing attack, or simply a cat jumping on a keyboard and hitting the wrong combination of keys to delete something. We've literally seen it all happen to our Rewind customers. And unfortunately, until Tesla's Optimus robot becomes fully self-aware, you'll never be able to completely eliminate this risk. But you can mitigate it with a secure and reliable backup and recovery solution. IBM's annual report on the cost of data revealed some shocking numbers for 2022. 
Of note, the report found that 60% of studied organizations raised their product or service prices to offset the cost of a data problem. Data loss is an expensive ordeal. It costs you time and it costs you money to fix it. There could also be hefty regulatory fines depending on where you are and the type of data that was involved. And incalculable costs include damage to your reputation. Would you trust an organization that didn't have a proper continuity plan? Hopefully by now I've convinced you that backups are an essential component to keeping your business on track. And now it's time for the eternal debate in software purchasing, to build or to buy. As with most questions, it depends on your organization, its data needs, its compliance, security constraints, and the technical capabilities of your team. It's worth taking a moment to discuss some of the pros and cons of a do-it-yourself solution versus the pros and cons of a backup as a service product. A basic do-it-yourself backup solution can be set up with a combination of scripts, a few cron jobs, and some other free tools that you might find online. But if your team doesn't need to regularly run backups, nor really care about the reliability of that data, this can be a cost-effective solution. There is a not so subtle difference between a backup and backup recovery solution. A backup is just a copy of your files. I've got a backup of this presentation on my desktop, but a backup and recovery solution is more involved. It should recreate the data in your SaaS account exactly as it was before to ensure that business continuity. To better illustrate the difference, I'd like to use an example of a spare key in a car. Simply having the key is the backup, but if you store that key in the glove box, it's not gonna be very useful if you lock yourself out of the car. In this analogy, the backup and recovery solution is the spare key that can be easily and reliably accessible and can get you back into your car when you need to. There's also a question of acceptable levels of risk. A do-it-yourself solution is inherently more risky. You're relying on the expertise of your in-house team as well as trusting them with elevated access to all of that sensitive data. You're also assuming the responsibility of ensuring backups can be restored. Utilizing a backup as a service product or BAAS as we like to call it, uh, shoulders that risk from you with assurance from verified compliance programs. And also if something goes wrong, a qualified backup as a service provider has a number to call and an expert on the other end that can help you with data recovery exactly when you need it. It took Rewind's team of engineers about one year to fully launch our first backup and restore product. Data backups may sound simple, just download the data, store it securely, and you're done, right? But once you start to unpeel that onion, there's a lot of complexities involved. APIs change. Oftentimes, documentation can be lacking. There's often hidden business logic behind the interaction with these APIs. Just putting the back correctly and in a timely manner can be a huge challenge. The majority of companies today use multiple SaaS platforms and each has its own intricacies involved in backing up and restoring that data. If you had endless engineers to work on endless problems, this maybe isn't an issue for you, but we all know that developer time is precious and expensive and better spent building value for your customers. Incidentally, if you have unlimited engineers at your beck and call, I'd love to know more about your recruitment strategies. Um, SaaS and cloud data are not immune from compliance, audits, disaster recoveries, or business continuity plans. Choosing a backup as a service provider with all the security compliance you need for your own requirements saves you time and money. This frees up your team to do what they do best, which is delivering solutions and products that your customers want. Outsourcing your backup and recovery need often makes good business sense. By choosing the right partner, you can be confident that your data is secure and compliant without adding unnecessary build paths to your development team. Rewind provides secure backup and recovery apps for a variety of SaaS platforms, further streamlining data and security. And we protect companies' businesses' critical data, allowing them to focus on what they do best. I appreciate my time here. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is on, uh, on this slide. And for more information about Rewind, head over to rewind.com.